set the waypoint for Shell Reef. So yeah, guys, uh, double slide right over here. These dunes, I mean, the hill, but the dunes next to it is what everybody knows double slide for. And the cool thing about it is that you guys will be able to download the app and then you can go to Ocotillo Wells and you can see those Terra hot spots. So what's up guys? So we actually had this idea to bring you guys this new series where we're telling you guys about different desert spots, Terra hot spots. These are spots that you guys always see us come to regularly throughout the year. This is spots where we grew up coming, where a lot of history has been in these spots. Like a lot of our heroes that we grew up watching come to these places. And we kind of figured there's not really information on these kinds of spots. We wanted to give everybody overall information like where to camp, places to visit, places to look at. It's hard to find that kind of information online and if you do, it's kind of lame and kind of hard to find sometimes. We actually linked up with these dudes on X Off Road. This is just a really cool way for us to, to basically tell you guys how to navigate through here. And the cool thing about it is that you guys will be able to download the app and then you can go to Ocotillo Wells and you can see those Terra Hot Spots. So when you get here, you can set a waypoint. Yeah. You can tap on the Terra Hot Spot and then you can drive out to it and go to that jump, go to that whoop section, go sure. to that. Uh, technical section, the Shell Reef, and all the yeah. other kind of cool spots. So, you know, this is kind of a cool, really cool guide for anybody who hasn't been out to these places before, or if you have a friend that, you know, doesn't isn't familiar with the area, is maybe a little afraid to come out with you. Um, I've scared. only been out here once, so, you know, I don't really know the area too well, and it's nice to have a nice uh, digital guide to be able to, to get around and know where I'm at. So every spot that we go to in this episode, you guys are gonna be able to find. First thing with Ocotillo is there's is there's two kind of main entrances. So there's a Ranger Station Road, which is just west of us. And then we're on Main Street, which is kind of where most people come in. So Ranger Station Road has the Ranger Station, and then and then you just kind of go out into the desert and start finding stuff. Uh, as you guys come in through Main or all through the um, the Ranger Station Road, there's campsites off the side of the road. Also, if you guys have a Razor or um, a quad, you guys are required to have a flag. Motorcycles do not need one because I think they're just cooler than those things. Also, too, um, right off the right off these main roads, there's uh, there's bathrooms. Uh, in the second entrance, coming around the highway, there's bathrooms and showers. Uh, Ocotillo Wells is super awesome for for people to come camp out here because there are all those amenities, right? There's even private land where you could rent hookup spots, full hookups for motorhomes. There's also like I believe it's like a motel. There's a motel around here, um, and there's also some like small convenience stores out here that are pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. There's a couple repair shops. There's ATV rentals. There's UTV rentals. Uh, there's a couple RV parks. You know, all within you know, five miles or so um, off the 78, like right off the 78. The Rangers kind of take care of everything over here. Um, you guys don't need to pay anything to come in here. Everything's free camping. We're going to start with Blow Sand and we're going to head on over to Double Slide and then we're going to go to Shell Reef, which is my favorite spot. Um, then we're going to show you guys some other cool spots out there. So let's see what we can fit into this day. I'm going to start tracking this. Tracking. So as you guys can see, like Blow Sam's like right off the entrance as you guys come in. We're going through the camp area right now. What's up guys? So we're over here at Blow Sand and we got our buddy Tim out here for the day. Um, pretty stoked to be seeing this thing in action. And Tim is super familiar with Ocotillo. He knows it like the back of his hand and he's gonna take us to some of the spots throughout the day. Blow sand. This spot is probably like one of the bigger spots out here. Everybody comes here on holiday weekends, Fridays and Saturdays. It's pretty popping. This whole area right here where there's all these bushes behind us is pretty much like lit up with uh, other campers traveling here at night to like watch everybody race up the dune. 
Um, it's similar to like Oldsmobile and uh, like Competition Hill in Glamis. Uh, so you'll kind of see people like line up at the base of the hill and race up it. We're kind of far from it, so you can't tell, but it's a pretty steep face. It's probably, I believe it's the biggest dune out here. We're gonna see if Tim could go up it, man. Evan, are we gonna see uh, some forerunner action? Yeah, maybe. I, mean, I don't know if I can make it up the hill, but we'll have some, we'll have some fun today. We'll sure. have some fun? Hell yeah. So dudes, we're at Blow Sand, and they call it Blow Sand because it's formed by wind blowing sand up the mountain. No problem, dude, that was sick. That was perfect, man. All right, guys, so we're gonna head to the next spot. We are heading to Devil Slide. It's not too far from here. We go check it out. So our goal out here is not only to bring you guys information, but to peer pressure Evan into doing everything that Tim does. <laughs> in the not fair. In the forerunner. So let's see how that goes. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Yeah. Not bad, Evan. Not bad. All right. Okay. on the app here um, we have our, our main path and then I've already uh, set uh, double slide as a waypoint and so this white line here is basically saying yo like you need to go this way to get to your waypoint um, and then I'm also been tracking us the whole time so I know what paths we went on and uh, where we can get back to camp by just following our track that we've let, that we've laid so right really cool really cool little feature so yeah guys uh double slide right over here these dunes i mean the hill but the dunes next to it is what everybody knows double slide for it's pretty popular with uh people coming out at night here too to kind of jump it super common for people to try to get a run at it uh kind of from kind of curves out to the left a lot of people tend to come in super hot really fast on this thing definitely want to make sure you guys have a spotter there's been so many accidents here you know we want to make sure that you guys are safe out there uh, approaching this thing get a spotter up there if you guys have radios that's the ideal situation so we're trying to get the Terra skull inside the app so when you click on it and you're at Akatia Wells you can see some of the spots we've we've we filmed that and you guys can get some of the notes directly from us of uh, ways to approach a jump and maybe things you should and shouldn't do guys we're at uh, the sand dune area right next to Devil Slide it's like kind of like a flat area up here that people kind of come chill out on people try to people jump from this area right here and they land pretty far but we're up here kind of hanging out at this berm we'll set a waypoint here so you guys can hit this all right so next spot is Shell Reef so what we'll do is we'll go in here I kind of know where it's at. Uh, it's right here. So you can just tap that. Is it already labeled? Okay. Yeah. Go to waypoint. Boom. It's going to set us a thing. We'll tap this little crosshair here, put us on our dot, which is us, and then tap it again. And it kind of shows tells you what direction, direction you're going. So, so there's our line we need to follow. And then we go. Hey, that, that worked out pretty good. Hey, what did you think, dude? Hey, how do you think the forerunner did? I, I, it felt good. I mean, kind of towards the end, I was kind of, I felt it get starting to get on top of it, and then it was, then it got a lot smoother real quick. But um, that felt good. It felt good. How was that, buddy? Pretty good. Feels pretty good. Yeah. Heck yeah. Very good.
All right, guys, so we've made it to uh, Shell Reef. So basically, Shell Reef is this big hill right here. It's got all kinds of switchbacks and wall rides and stuff like that. Uh, lots of people usually gather here during the day. Guys ride their dirt bikes and their trucks and UTVs all around this hill here. Um, so the reason it's called Shell Reef, a little fun fact for you. So this used to be an inland sea, so this was all covered in water you know, millions of years ago. And at the top of the hill, there's a five foot thick layer of uh, fossilized shells. That's why it's called Shell Reef. So another fun fact is uh, if you guys are Axel Hodges fans, this bathroom here is featured in his video, Deserted. Uh, he like walks out of the bathroom and like hops on his bike and then like, and then like a short course truck like does like donuts around it. It's pretty rad. As you can see out here, there are some spots, there's a bathroom. So, you know, once again, the accommodations here in uh, Octeel are, are really good and they're great for riding. You know, there's picnic tables and uh, some coverings to stay in the shade. And this is just a rad riding spot. People come here and they'll, they'll hang out here like all day long and they'll just ride. We usually come out here. There's another spot we go to behind Shell Reef that we're gonna put on the map. So let's head over there. All right guys, so we just got to this spot. Um, this spot means a lot to us. This is kind of like the terror crew spot where most of us come. I'll kind of point out some sections. Evan's gonna actually try to set the spot on a waypoint on the app so you guys can find it, cruise out here and explore it yourselves. All right, so um, now we have our Onyx app. I've been tracking us the whole time. So we're, as you can see on here, we're not far from Shell Reef. Yeah, we're just south of Shell Reef. So what I'll do here is I'll hit map tools, uh, add waypoint. Waypoint, I'm gonna name this uh, Terra. Playground. Hotspot. Yeah. Okay, and then here you can, it's the kind of cool thing is you can, there's all kinds of different icons you can use. All right, so we use the Sasquatch. And then you can just go down here to the bottom I can select a color, we'll just leave it black because we like black. You put notes in here if you want, you add a photo. Um, so I can go in here later and add some photos of the dudes hitting the double, or of Noah hitting the drop off that's right here. Yeah, and we'll then, go point all that yeah, stuff out. And then just save and boom. Now we have we have a hotspot um, mapped on the Ocotillo. Enter at your own area. Risk. Yeah, totally. Enter I've seen risk, multiple yeah. crashes here. Yeah. So let's get out and point it out. We got some wall ride shots right here. doesn't look very steep but this is all hard packed it's wild so that's why we call it like a skate park out here over here is the double that the guys would hit pretty decent double yeah tell him to go Noah tell him to go yeah and then right there that ridge right there you could jump off Pretty cool. Um, there's a lot of stuff around here, man. Um, on the back side over here, Noah found some doubles too. In another section right here, Adrian and Mike hit up some whoops. Another trip down this way. So a lot of our film stuff is over here. And I hope you guys enjoy it, man. So if you guys are entering this on the Onyx app, you guys will be able to see how to get here. It's not very far from Shell Reef. It's literally like one little range around it. This is still considered Shell Reef. This is just a spot that we kind of frequent. Hope you guys enjoy it. And please, again, just please be careful. Please be careful. As you guys can see, people have come very close to wrecking and people have wrecked out here. So be safe. Have fun. Evan said he's gonna go try to give it a little more. Uh, what, what? What are you gonna give it a little more, Evan? A little more ugly, ugly. <laughs> a little more ugly, ugly. You heard it from Ed Flanders himself. 
All right, guys, so there you have it. Um, that's kind of Akatillo in a quick nutshell. We, I know we scraped the surface, and I know a bunch of you guys uh, are probably have a bunch of suggestions for us to hit some other spots over here. Um, why don't you guys, for reals, leave some comments. Let us know what spots we should include next time. There's so much to do out here. It's kind of hard to wrap it up in one day, but, yeah, you know. Yeah, we need, we need multiple days to really get all of the, the cool main features and then all of the other little kind of nooks and crannies that we've discovered over yeah you know the years um so yeah definitely well we're stoked that you guys got to come on this uh this ride with us today if you guys have any questions for us about the onyx off-road app let us know again drop comments we'll have them kind of engage with some of you guys in there too if you guys want to download the onyx off-road app please uh hit the the link in the description they have a they have a seven seven day free trial so you can try it out for a week and then yeah um it's pretty cheap like it's not expensive guys so it's it's an imperative tool to have to be able to navigate through i tracked us the whole day and so we'll use that track to get us back to camp cool um so you know it's just one of the cool features there's a bunch of other cool features i would download it before heading out to the desert for a weekend or for a trip if you guys are going to do the trial um that way you guys can experiment with it and you guys can play with the app prior to uh cruising out to the desert yeah. and it the app the app does have features where it works offline so basically you take an overhead photo and you save a map and then when you don't have service you can still track yourself and find spots and all that kind of good stuff so thank you guys so much again and we'll see you guys next time later dudes later dudes and dudettes <laughs>